In this video, we are going to learn how to animate Fortnite characters right inside of UEFN, Unreal Engine for Fortnite. These are some examples of the animations and characters that are available. There are actually over 800 different characters available inside of UEFN, ready to be animated for your Fortnite Island projects. The first thing we want to do is open up UEFN and come to the feature examples and we're going to look for the project called animation right here. We need this one because it's got the control rigs buried deep inside it, kind of hidden away. I'll show you where they are. But we need those for some of the more advanced animation we're going to do with the control rigs. So we need this template. I'm going to name it animation tutorial 02 and you can name it whatever you'd like and then click create and I'll be speeding this up so we don't, we don't have to wait for the whole thing okay now we have our UEFN project opened up for us and as you can see we have a nice set already built lots of lighting very beautiful so we don't have to create anything right now worry about any of that so what we're going to do is we're going to first go into the Fortnite tab the folder so down here in the devices folder just click on that and then in the search bar type in character and we'll see the character device right here this is going to be what we're using for all of our character animation in this series of tutorials so go ahead and left click on that and drag it into the scene and then you want to click on the rotate up here and rotate the mannequin around to face us. Now remember, just as a review, the space bar, once you have the character selected, the space bar, if you tap it, you can go through the scale, translate, or move controls, or the rotate controls, or you can get them up here. I prefer using the space bar. I've just gotten a habit of doing that. So now we have our character device here. And here's what the really cool thing is. This, you got to think of this as not just one character, but this represents a potential of over 800 Fortnite characters. And let me show you what I mean. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here. And with the character device selected, let's go over into our outliner and you see our character device here. Let's go down here into the Details tab, click on that, and then if we scroll down here and we see our character, you'll see our little orange mannequin here, but he's just like the default guy. So if we click here, this will pop up all the selections, and in here are literally over 800 characters. They're top quality, triple A rated characters that Epic Games has created for Fortnite and they're nice enough to let us use these characters in our own Fortnite islands create our own animations so all of these characters you have a full library just keep keep that in mind right now what we're going to do is we're just going to go up to the search bar here and we're going to type in one of my favorite characters the grill sergeant g-r-i-l-l -L, and that's going to pull up the grill sergeant and just select that and bam right there in our viewport we have a fully different character all rigged and ready to be animated 
So the next step, what we want to do is we want to go up here to our base folder. Mine's called Animation Tutorial 02 Content. Get rid of the character in the search bar here. And we want to right click here and do a new folder. Call it Cinematics. Oops. Cinematics is where we're going to keep all of our animation or our level sequences, our, anim our uh, timelines. So right, go into the blank area here and right click. Go up to Cinematics and then over to Level Sequence. Click on that. And let's name this Grill and then underscore, because you can't have a space, Sergeant. And then go up here to save all. It's good to save at this time. And there we go. So now we have our level sequence, which is going to be our animation timeline. So let's go ahead and go over here and left click on it, double click. And it's going to put this here. Now sometimes it'll be up here somewhere like that. I don't like it taking up so much space so if you just click on it with your left mouse button you can put the tab right there that way you have your content browser here and your sequencer here just a little handy um, handy hint there okay so the first thing we want to do to get this started is we've got him selected here the grill sergeant and he's still called character device here and then we want to go over here to the add button in the sequencer click add go way up to the top where it says actor to sequencer and then add character device and that's going to put him in our timeline good to keep in mind that anything that we want to animate in our scene needs to be in the sequencer otherwise it's not going to move or it's not going to animate so now we have our character here and we have our timeline our default timeline is at five and a half seconds where the setting for the seconds are there it is right there we've got 30 frames per second and we show time as seconds or you can do it as frames i prefer seconds because it gives me a better idea of how long the animation is so this is five and a half seconds not going to be long enough for what we want to do so Let's click on this down here in the right corner and let's change this to 25 seconds. Hit return and that just expanded our timeline out. Now this red ending mark, let's go ahead and drag that out to the end. Now we have a larger timeline to work with. So we have our character in here, our character device. We want to go over here and click the plus button. We want to go up to animation. And then let's choose one of these that are showing. Let's choose the banana. Okay, so now our character has, ha has the existing animation that's in UEFN called Emote Banana. And if we click play down here, we see our animation playing perfectly. Okay, now let's move the timeline ahead just a, a little bit here, and let's add a different animation. So let's go down to the animation track here, where it has the plus. Click plus, and now let's do the blow kiss, emote blow kiss mail. So it's going to add this animation, and let's go up here and un uncheck the snapping. And what we're going to do, let's grab the end of this and zoom in a little bit so we can see better. And we're just going to, we want to merge these two animations so they're very smooth. So we'll click left mouse button and drag this over. And if you see here, this is where the two animations are going to blend auto automatically. And you can adjust that by just however much you overlap the two clips. 
now he's going into the blow kiss animation and then he stops there let's add another one here let's do the emote burpee so now he's going to jump down and he's going to do a burpee and we need to overlap this again as well too just just a little bit that's all it needs and then he'll smoothly go into the next animation here okay so he does that a couple times and now we have a little bit more space here let's go ahead and put the emote ballet jumps in here those are kind of funny and overlap that click a little bit clip a little bit so he just jumps up and goes right into the ballet pirouetting or whatever that's called and then as a last one let's go ahead and put in call me so now Jonesy's going to be saying call me well, let's get this one butt up in a little bit of an overlap so we're almost to the end you can see you can just keep adding clip after clip after clip and it's going to blend in very naturally so let me back this up if i want if i click the snapping again i'll be able to snap this right to the end and let's unzoom again by dragging this left click drag let's go back to the beginning of the animation and let's press play or hit the space bar. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? Give yourself a big pat on the back because what you've just done is a major, major accomplishment. We're going to get into a lot more in detail later on about how to add music, dialogue, sound effects, how to add the control rig for the body and the face, and add facial and body animations. But this is going to get us started right here. Good job!